this is DJ Ready D representing the beat bangers all the way from the Cape Flats or turntablers or hip hop DJ at least. I think probably most naturally you switch from being a DJ to a producer uh, because when you on the decks going back and forth, technically speaking you are producing or reproducing somebody else's um, composition and for some people they interpret that as progressions, I'm not sure. I think there's a fine line and probably an area of debate there. Obviously skills play a huge role in that because we know on what level a lot of the international competitors are. But I think at the end of the day it boils down to your representation, your management, your business, how you actually run those stuff. And then it's just um, like dedication, I would say definitely dedication. I would say networking is definitely important, especially if you're the artistic type. And also just for business it's good I would say. So a lot of guys would network probably to exchange ideas, change music exchange music in a certain sense, find out you know, who's got what, who's doing what, what's happening where, when, whatever the case may be. So I would say definitely if you don't network, you're probably going to be locked up in your own little zone and just have a one dimensional view. I get inspired by a whole range of things, you know, from I through from turntables to club DJs to a guy playing a house set to an up and coming DJ that's struggling to master certain technique but to hear something like that with what they do right through to the b-boy scene just life itself is inspiring uh, POC we did our second tour in the US we've been to Chicago that's been inspiring to see what's happening and still to know um, that the group like POC still got the power to hold it down overseas the only thing that it does for me is just make my record box a little bit lighter the technology is cool definitely assist in a certain sense it also opens up doors and it also opens up the mind to new development in what you do. So I definitely encourage people, you know, to go out there, check out technology, get a feel for it, get an understanding, and then you can weigh the options and decide are you purist or are you sort of a techno junkie or technology junkie, whatever you want to call it. For me, if you're working in a commercial arena, I think like radio DJs who don't have skills, or should I say radio announcers really, I wouldn't qualify, I wouldn't sort of classify them as DJs and I don't think they qualify to be DJs. Most of them have worked with a lot of them over the years that I had to get some experienced DJ to play for them. But they sort of, um, you know, they grab all the credibility. At the end of the day, people just want to hear the hit song period. They don't care if you mix it, they don't mix it, it disposes, blah, blah. Just as long as they hear the latest jiggy sound, it's cool. They don't care, you know. And most of the times, more than half of these guys out there are idiots and morons in the way. Get to get a lot of people that's been assigned to do shows, but they know nothing about the cultures and the music that they try and represent through the show. So, on a realistic scale, I don't think we're going to get away from that anytime soon. Yeah, in terms of club owners and promoters, it's always going to be a sore territory for me. And that's again when your business skills or your business initiatives should come into play. Good representation, good managers can that can sort of drive the deal with the club owner, whatever. I think with a lot of these independent films, independent documentaries, independent documentation of what goes on in our environment, I think it's very, very important because that counters all the mainstream watered down, um, you know, sort of industry. Um, versions of what we do. I don't know for beat bangers, we've got a lot of projects that we locked into at the moment. Um, we're not trying to be the best crew turntablers, you know, the turntable crew out there. All that we want to do is just do whatever it is that we do, you know. It's very hard to define that at this stage. Uh, yeah, we just take it, you know, um, each day as it comes. There's a whole lot of ideas that have been laid down, and as soon as we find the time, we're going to get in the studio everything together, find time to practice so that we can do it.